Welcome to my killer cardio workout. This is a zero equipment workout that is going to leave you sweating your face off. Like I said, no equipment. You just need around this much space, the space of a mat. And it is a timed workout, which I love because there is no time to make excuses. So if you have my SESI timer app, you can set this up on your own phone, but essentially it is two circuits. This is a real time workout. So I'm gonna do the entire thing with you. As I said, this is a killer cardio. So if you find yourself really out of breath or needing a break, that is totally fine, but I'm here to really push you and get you sweating and move your body in a short amount of time. So we're gonna start in 10 seconds. An exercise I love that just gets me in the mood to work out, I wanna really spike your heart rate. So it is cross body squats. So we're jumping in and then out to a nice sumo squat, driving the knees outways. You wanna make sure your knees aren't buckling in, making sure they're always pushing out and your hand is tapping your opposite foot. We're gonna start with this version for the first round. And like I said, we are doing three rounds of each circuit. So I can show you a modification up in the corner, but we will do the harder version on the next round. We just wanna get the body warm and get that heart rate increased a little bit. Take a 10 second break. We're gonna go into shoulder taps with a push-up. We're gonna start on our feet, but you can go straight down to your knees if that's easier. Tapping the opposite shoulder to a tricep push-up. Ensuring that you're not rocking the hips, keeping nice and strict. Like I said, you can go down to the knees. Try not to put the feet on the mat. Keep them up, which is going to Make sure you're stabilizing your core. Really shaving the elbows past the rib cage, keeping it tight, making sure we're engaging those triceps. Whew. 10 seconds break. This one is a killer. You really need to make sure you're doing it with power. It's a squat lunge pivot with a punch. Starting in a sumo squat, Lunging with a punch, squat, punch, squat, punch. As you can see, I'm staying really low. The level of my head is not changing. I'm not bouncing. I'm staying low, pivoting the toe and keeping my fist in a fighter's position, protecting my face. Making sure you're engaging your belly button towards your spine and not letting it go, not arching your back. Engaging the core. 10 seconds break. This one, I hate myself for putting it in because it kills my shoulders, but nothing sculpts my shoulders like this one. It is a push through. So starting with fingers, facing the toes, pushing all the way up to a crab and sliding through. You want to keep your butt off the ground the whole time and shoulders down. If you feel like your shoulders are creeping up around your neck, reposition and keeping shoulders away from the ears. If it's too easy, pick up the pace. One, nine seconds. Keep it fast, shoulders away from the ears. Woo. 30 seconds break. We're gonna repeat that all again. So like I said, with all of these exercises, it's performing them correctly. Shoulders away from the ears, core engaged, pelvis slightly tucked forward. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna go in with our cross body squats. If you wanna kick it up a notch, we're gonna slap the thighs together in the middle and land in a sumo squat again, driving the knees out ways. Let's go. If you don't want the progression, that is totally fine. You're gonna go in with round one, just the taps. Twisting, cinching out that waist as you tap the foot. If you slap them, I guess, with purpose, you'll feel your inner thighs start to burn. Mine are burning. 10 seconds. 
two more. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's a killer. Next up, we're gonna go into our cross taps and a push up. So I'll do the modification for this one and go on my knees. Keeping the hips, pretend you've got lights on your hips, facing the mat, they never twist. Tricep, push up. Again, shoulders away from the ears. Try not to rock the body. If your triceps are killing, you can go to a wide stance push-up, but I just find it easier for the movement to do a tricep push-up. Next, we're gonna go with our squat pivots with a punch. Punch with purpose and make sure you're straightening the arm in the lunge. Sumo squat, driving knees out. Let's go. It's all about what you put, well, you essentially get out of the workout what you put in. So if you put in maximum effort, you're gonna get out maximum results. Stay low. Pick up the pace. One, two, three, four. Try to keep this tempo. One, two, three, four. Stay low. Can you sink a tiny bit lower? Good job. Sink a little bit lower. Keep it going. You've got five seconds. Oh, my quads are feeling it. Next, to our shoulder burner, our push throughs. So, like I said, keeping the butt elevated from the mat the entire time. Okay, up high, shoulders away, push through, straight legs, up. Some people say, my arms aren't long enough. They are. You just need to make sure you're really uh, engaging your core, scooping, and that's gonna give you the height that you need. Twelve seconds. You can do it. Really wrapping the shoulder blades back at the top of the workout. Two rounds done, one more to go. This is where you know that you're not gonna do this exercise again after this round. So leave it all on the mat, as we used to say in gym, okay? So challenge yourself. Can you try the modification? Can you try the progression? If it's too hard, go back down. Nine seconds. Stop talking to me. I need to stop talking to you so I can do the exercise. Let's go. I will put the modification up on the screen. So if you forget, you can always go to that one. But I just wanna ensure that you're doing each exercise safely and with proper form. That's going to ensure it's really targeting the, the muscles that we want it to. And also avoiding injury. Cinching out the waist, twist. This is getting our glutes, quads, inner thighs, and also our core. Seven seconds and then never again. 10 seconds break. We're gonna go into our squat pivots. Again, punching with purpose. PWP, punch with purpose. Let's go. Staying nice and low. If you wanna go at an okay pace for now, I'm gonna tell you to kick it up when we have 15 seconds, okay? In 10 seconds, we're all going to sink a little bit lower and go a little bit faster. Ready, set, go. Sink lower. Punch with purpose. You're almost there. Eight seconds. Oh, my quads. I hope your quads are burning like mine. Okay, our final exercise. No! Oh my gosh, I forgot our shoulder taps. We're gonna switch it around. Shoulder taps to a push-up. Let's go. I'm gonna try to do push-ups the whole time. Not rocking 
the hips and shaving the elbows down the rib cage. 20 seconds, let's go. Can you try to do one push up on your feet, even if it's slow? You're in the comfort of your own home. Now is the time to challenge yourself. Oh, okay, this is our last exercise now. We've got our push throughs. Again, wrapping the shoulders back away from the ears. Fingers facing toes. Let's go. Wrap them back. Wrap them back. If you don't feel this in your shoulders, your shoulders are probably shrugging too far up. Keep them down. Flex the feet. This isn't in the glutes or the hammies. It's all in the upper body. And it's at this moment I realized I should have had a towel because I'm sweating. If you're not sweating, what are you doing? Okay. This is our biggest break of the workout. We've got 45 seconds, so take a breather, get your towel, which I don't have. Have a drink of water, and I will explain our circuit two in a second. Okay, 25 seconds. Don't hate me, but it wouldn't be a killer cardio workout without a burpee. So we're gonna start off with a basic burpee, you can really modify this to the nines or you can make it really simple. You can do a step back burpee if you're a beginner or push up, tuck jump. Many modifications I'll put on the screen here. So we'll start with a generic burpee, jumping to a plank, jumping to the sky. I like to engage my lats and reach to the sky. 25 seconds. Any modification or version you like. 15 seconds. When you jump in, try to jump into your hands. Don't jump over here, jump into your hands. I'm dying, guys. I'm gonna burn out your inner thighs and your glutes. We're going with in and out jump squats. So we're gonna pulse three times at hip width, pulse out in a sumo for three. So here we're really bringing down the heart rate, but activating the glutes, the adductors, abductors, essentially the entire lower body. So really focus on the breath. Getting ready to cinch out the waist. 10 seconds. Sink lower. Whew. Okay, we're gonna go into a oblique crunch with a sprawl. If your legs are too sore, omit the sprawl. So, we're gonna do oblique crunch, oblique crunch, sprawl, so stay low, jump back down. If your legs are too sore, you need a break, just stick with oblique. But if not, we're keeping that heart rate up. I like to slightly twist my upper body into the crunch and really compress the oblique. 10 more seconds. If you're going slow, move with purpose. Oh, okay. Our last exercise is a grid iron run. Essentially, it's one, two, three. Step, 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 knee. The knee is coming up to the collarbone. It's all about pace. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is the high intensity component of the workout. So it's all about what you put in. Can you go a little bit faster? Get the knee higher. Keep the hands active. 
15 seconds. Last bit, keep it going. 30 seconds break and we're going straight in to our burpees. Oh, pretend I'm not dripping sweat, but hopefully it makes you feel better about yourself. I'm a sweater. Literally, I like look at a dumbbell and I start sweating. Okay, burpees. If you want to really progress it, do a tuck jump. You can do a push up down the bottom or step up. It's all about how your week's going, how you're feeling, every day's different. Let's go. You can even go to Releve if you're in an apartment and you don't want to annoy your neighbors. Go to a Releve or a full jump. Twenty seconds. This is the second last time you have to do this. Can you pick up the pace a little bit? Can you jump a little bit higher? Point the toes at the top of the jump. Whew. 10 seconds break. We're going into our in and out squat pulses, bringing down the heart rate, increasing the fire in the glutes, in the quads. One, two, three, stay low. One, two, three. Always driving the knees outwards. That's gonna protect the knees, the lower back, and engage the glutes. Fifteen seconds. Oh my quads. Usually my glutes are on fire, but I've done a lot of leg workouts this week, so I feel like my quads are burning. Check it out. We're going into oblique crunch with a sprawl. With the sprawl, jumping the feet up to meet the hands. Crunch, crunch, legs come all the way up, let go of the hands. If legs are too much, again, keep it at the crunch keeping the belly button engaged towards the spine. I'm literally dripping sweat off my nose. Let's do another sprawl. One more. Crunch, crunch, sprawl. Okay, last one, last one. Gridiron run, gridiron run. We've got this, second last time. Okay, with the knee up, Get it as high as you can, crunching the core. So this is also gonna get your core. It's kind of like doing a crunch on the ground, but you're standing. It's all about you and this workout. You can cheat it and do this. You're not gonna get the results you want. It's all about how you perform each exercise. Do not cheat yourself. It's all about you. Seven, six, get the knee up, and then you've got 30 seconds break. Oh, last round, then we're done. Get a water. Take a breather, set an intention for this final round. Is it about slower pace and form? Is it about increasing the pace and heart rate? It's all up to you. Five seconds. Let's do some tuck jumps and really kill me. Let's go. Push up. We're gonna do three of these and we're gonna slowly decrease the impact. Okay, let's go to a jump. Three of these. Really push yourself. This is your last round. Let's go to Releve. If you're a dancer, you know. If you're not, it's 
just cheapy toes. Woo! Sweating. In and out. Squat pulses. Staying low for this round. Let's go. One, two, three. Stay low. Driving the knees out. Think about wrapping the glutes. That's what I think every time I do a sumo squat. I think of my glutes literally tucking under, wrapping and hugging my body. And it switches them on. Core engaged, breathing, focusing on getting that heart rate down. We're gonna go into oblique crutches. Crutches, that's what I need after this workout. Crunches. Three, two, one. All right. We're gonna sprawl for the whole 40 seconds. Meaning crunch, crunch, sprawl. Three seconds, we've got this. We've got this. Let's go. Crunch, crunch, legs meet the hands. Crunch, crunch, stay low. As you can see, my back comes almost all the way up. Keeping the core engaged. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds, then never again. Never again. Oh, our last workout. Last exercise. We're doing a gridiron run. Pace and keeping low. And thinking about a crunch, but in the air. Let's go. Crunch. Crunch. Fast feet, strong hands, core engaged. This is it, 25 seconds. Then you can go and lay on your bed, lay on the floor, jump in the pool. This is it, leave it all in this video. 20 more seconds, no, 15 more seconds. Come on, let's go. Sink a bit lower, a bit faster, five. Four, three, two, one. Ah. We're done. I hope you are as out of breath as I am. Get a water and we'll meet back here. Well, I hope you enjoyed my killer cardio workout. If you did, I have my workout guides and programs linked below as well as my SESI timer app. And make sure you're subscribed because we're gonna be uploading a lot more of these kind of workouts. For now though, I'm gonna go jump in the pool. See ya.